Hello, I'm Chris Saraga. I'm with the 365, and I am down and near the beautiful Feather River. Uh, I am just down from the uh, Highway 162 bridge in Oroville, California, and I thought I'd show you guys a different area than I normally show. I'm right across the way, right over there, is what I like to call the dog park, and until recently, that was completely underwater. Uh, before I get into where I'm actually at or show you around the area a little more, let me uh, tell you what the river level and, and the spillway level is today. Today, they're releasing about 12,000 cubic feet per second. That's what you see flowing past me right here. And it's a little noisy, sorry, that's kind of a lot of water going past me right there. And the, um, the actual reservoir level is 848 and a half feet uh, above sea level right now. So it's gone up a couple feet since they've turned off the spillway, which is expected. Um, and as I said before, this river level is about 13,000 cubic feet a second flowing past right there. And as I always like to say, that's not good for me. That's especially not good for me. And that right there is really not good for me. Right down there is Marysville, where I will be if I fall in this water. That way, that right there is the Highway 162 bridge and the water is coming from the dam, the spillway, actually from the Hyatt Powerhouse at this point, uh, from right up that direction. So I'll just pan you around a little bit here. So that is the, what I call the dog park. That faces right along uh, Highway 70 in Oroville. You can see that. There's generally, right here, there's a big pond that is that you can normally see when the water's up though it's gone and that has been revealed itself just recently so i'm planning tomorrow or the next day to fly this whole area with the drone and show you uh the effects that the water has had over the past few days so let me get you down that way a little bit kind of show you where i'm at get you i'm going to get you a little closer to the water so you can actually see what it's like to be right where i'm at right now there you go. So, and that's only 13,000 cubic feet a second. That's not very much water that's gone past there. So, as I always like to say, is that uh, this is actually kind of a miracle that they're down to 13,000 cubic feet a second. Because as of today, this is my 50th, 50th live stream. That means that this whole thing started about 48 days ago. I did this a couple days beforehand. So I'm pretty amazed that we went from where we were all being evacuated to this point right now in such a short time. They have completely found the problem, diagnosed the problem, fixed the problem, and that's where we're at. Now they just have to repair the damage that was done and everything should be going great. So along those lines, they checked out the snowpack today. They did a manual, the DWR, did a manual check of the snowpack. And um, the numbers I got were varying between 165% of our snowpack all the way to 185% of its historical totals right now. So that's a whole lot of water that still has to come down this channel right here. So they're working hard to make sure that spillway will be able to be used in the future. It can be used right now. They just don't want to do any more damage to it than they've already done. So along those lines, they're working to rebuild that thing. They've been diligently dr uh, still dredging out the channel. I don't have any totals for that today, but I will have those tomorrow or the next day. Um, it's just that this has all been... I don't know about you guys, but it's just a miracle to me how quickly that this all came together and how well they did at just fixing everything on a project that is equally on the scales with the uh, uh, Great Pyramid. So if you see a DWR worker like I did yesterday, shake their hand, thank them for what they've done. If you see any of the construction workers, any of the law enforcement, just thank them because we're all here today because of what they did. Anyway, that's what I have for you today. I'm going to pan you around a little bit, trying to keep out of the water here. As always, like and subscribe. Put some comments down below. This is going straight to YouTube because I had some trouble live streaming from this location earlier. So this will go straight to YouTube. So put some comments down below if there's a place you want to see me report on. As some people have asked me to go to Yuba City. Um, that's going to happen in the near future. I'm going to live stream from Table Mountain tomorrow or the next day. So you got to come... Uh, 
tune in and check that out. If, it, if it's not gonna be a live stream, if the communications won't let it, it'll go on YouTube just like this one has. So make sure that you like and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get all these reports. Thank you very much for watching. Have an awesome day and get outside and have some fun like I'm doing. Talk to you later, bye.